Calmness is the high mastery of voluntarily resisting instead of reacting. It's the art of making conscious decisions instead of impulsive ones. As in the Stoic state, calmness is one of the four essential virtues, along with wisdom, justice, and courage. It involves self-control and moderation, recognizing our limits and not letting our passions dominate us. It's the ability to remain calm in the face of challenges and respond in a balanced and measured way. In summary, calmness is a balance, the moderation that permeates all aspects of life. This virtue is of great importance as it is fundamental to our ability to make good decisions, especially under pressure, to maintain serenity and mental clarity, and to solve problems effectively. If you often find yourself controlled by your emotions, be it anger or enthusiasm, you face a serious self-control challenge. This is precisely why we turn to Stoicism to overcome this challenge. In this video, I want to be practical and direct. I will present eight practical ways to apply the essential historical principles to cultivate calmness as one of your virtues. Lesson 1. Embracing what you can control. Epictetus, the wise Stoic, imparts a fundamental lesson that serves as the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy the dichotomy of control. At the heart of this teaching is the recognition that our lives are subject to a fundamental division between elements we can control and those beyond our influence. This concept is crucial for cultivating a calm and composed posture, even in the midst of life's uncertainties. Essentially, Epictetus advises us to invest our energy and attention in those aspects of life within our sphere of control. This includes our thoughts, actions, intentions and responses. By directing our focus to what is truly within our power, we can navigate life with a sense of purpose and mastery. It is the acknowledgement that our internal world is under our domain that forms the basis of our tranquility. On the other hand, external events and circumstances, often beyond our control, must be recognized as outside the reach of our influence. Just like an archer, exemplified by Epictetus, can aim carefully, pull the bowstring with precision, and release the arrow skillfully but remains uncertain about the outcome of the flight, we must learn to release our attachment to results we cannot govern. This release is not an act of resignation, but an embrace of equanimity in the face of the inherent unpredictability of life. Epictetus's metaphor of the archer finding contentment in knowing that he exerted his best effort, regardless of the target's fate, serves as a powerful reminder of the stoic approach to life. It encourages us to focus on our intentions and the dedicated efforts we employ accepting that results are subject to a multitude of external factors. Essentially, Stoicism reminds us to take the reins of our internal world, embracing the dichotomy of control as a powerful tool to maintain a calm and composed posture in a world where much remains beyond our influence. By concentrating our energies on what we can shape, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to govern the uncontrollable, allowing us to find serenity in the knowledge that we have done our utmost with the tools at our disposal. Lesson 2. Restraining Excessive Desires A lecture by Seneca on the Stoic principles of moderation is a masterpiece in itself. A renowned philosopher known for profound philosophical essays on ethics and personal development Seneca imparts an extremely important lesson, one that invites use to control the fierce desires that often threaten to engulf our inner calm. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the belief that excessive desires, like turbulent seas, have the potential to defeat our lives, leaving us in chaos and discontent. Stoic philosophers, in their steadfast pursuit of inner tranquility, recognized the danger of unrestrained desire for wealth. They saw that material wealth and possessions were beyond what is necessary for a virtuous and wise life. Seneca echoes the Stoic spirit, 
conveying his understanding based on the belief that true contentment often resides in the serene realm of limited desires. It is a lesson that encourages us to navigate the murky waters of existence with the helm of moderation, guiding us to the peaceful inner harbor. The Stoic path, illuminated by the wisdom of Seneca, invites us to simplify our desires, seeking only what is necessary for a life marked by kindness and ethics. In this simplicity, we discover the precious gems of contentment and tranquility, independent of the capricious winds of external fortune. The stoic practice of restraining excessive desires becomes the guiding star to maintain a posture of calm and serenity. It is within the walls of this classical wisdom that we discover the profound truth. The passionate pursuit of external possessions is only a fleeting illusion, and the true treasures are within us, waiting to be uncovered. Imagine having a prosperous life with a good job, a large house, and wealth, but you always feel dissatisfied and want more. Stoic philosophy encourages focusing on the necessary and limiting excessive desires. Instead of pursuing countless unnecessary things, you focus on kindness and ethics. As a result, you experience inner contentment and tranquility, not getting involved in the endless race for material possessions. This exemplifies how Stoicism helps to keep life interesting and peaceful without constantly pursuing new things. Seneca's lectures remain a lasting testament to Stoicism's commitment to inner mastery and the moderation of desires, paving the way to the sacred sanctuary of inner peace. Lesson 3. Understanding the Transient Nature of Life Through the profound and eternal verses of Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher delved into the essence of life a life filled with changes. His teachings serve as evidence of the wisdom of accepting the ever-changing nature of existence as a foundation for maintaining a calm and tranquil state of mind. Through Stoic philosophy, Marcus Aurelius imparts a lesson that may be one of the key points in achieving inner serenity. He invites us on a philosophical journey related to recognizing the short-term and temporary aspects of life. The Stoic awareness of this reality is often referred to as the transient nature of life, not as a sign of despair, but as a basis for profound strength in our lives. This lesson involves understanding that nothing in the realm of human experience, whether moments of joy or challenges of difficulties, remains unchanged. The universe, in its relentless and ever-flowing nature, creates a tapestry of constant change. Stoic sages do not resist this cosmic dance. Instead, they embrace it with grace and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius calls us to release attachment to fleeting moments, much like the shooting star in the night sky and the material possessions upon which we briefly focus. He teaches us to appreciate moments and possessions when they enter our lives, but also to let them go when their time comes. In doing so, we discover an inner sanctuary, calm and serene, impervious to the storms outside. Accepting the transience of everything, as advocated by Marcus Aurelius, is a remedy for the soul. It allows us to approach life's changes with a sense of equanimity. It frees us from the anxiety of clinging to what was and what could have been. Through this stoic lesson, we become architects of inner patience, building a unique fortitude in the face of life's inevitable changes. Imagine being on a beach at sunset, the sea gently waving and the sun slowly disappearing behind the horizon. According to Stoic philosophy, you understand that this moment is temporary. Instead of feeling sadness or attachment, you decide to fully embrace each moment without letting transience affect your soul. You appreciate the beauty of the sunset and let it go without clinging. In this way, you create a serene and enjoyable moment without being dominated by the fear of losing it. 
you maintain a calm and tranquil state of mind in your daily life. Understanding the transience of life opens the path to profound inner serenity. We realize that our ability to remain calm and composed transcends external circumstances. It is a sustainable presence, much like the stars that continue to shine in the night sky, regardless of passing clouds. Marcus Aurelius, through his stoic wisdom, invites us to savor the light of this understanding, providing us the opportunity to enjoy life's moments while maintaining an invincible sense of peace. Lesson 4 be virtuous. A core aspect of Stoicism is nurtured and esteemed by great Stoic philosophers such as Epicurus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. Rooted in a steadfast commitment to virtue, this commitment lies at the heart of this ancient philosophy. Stoic virtues, including wisdom, courage, justice, and tranquility, serve as guiding stars, leading us to a life marked by inner tranquility and peace. On the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, virtues hold a sacred position. They are moral guiding stars that beckon us to navigate life's storms with grace and wisdom. These virtues are not abstract concepts, but pillars upon which Stoic thought on living in harmony with the natural order of the universe is built. Wisdom, the first virtue on this list, plays the role of a bright beacon, illuminating the path of reason and discernment. It calls us to develop a profound knowledge of the world and our place in it. Stoic philosophers like Epicurus understood that wisdom is the foundation upon which all other virtues are built. With wisdom as our guiding star, we have the ability to see the world as it truly is and distinguish between the transient and the eternal. Courage, the second virtue, stands as the guardian of moral soul achievements. It calls us to face life's challenges with determination and resolution. In the Stoic Dictionary, courage is not the absence of fear, but triumph over it. It is a resolute determination to confront difficulties with inner strength. Seneca, through his lectures, extols the importance of courage in building a character marked by resilience and unwavering determination. Justice, the third virtue, dons the cloak of righteousness on the Stoic path. It calls us to live by the principles of fairness and moral uprightness. Stoic philosophers draw inspiration from sources of justice, guiding us to make decisions based on justice and morality. The pursuit of justice ensures that our actions align with the moral order of the universe, promoting inner serenity and tranquility. Tranquility, the last virtue, serves as the guardian of moderation and self-control. It reminds us to control our desires, for through tranquility, we discover the gateway to true peace. Seneca, in his philosophical essays, emphasizes the importance of simplifying our desires and seeking only what is necessary for a virtuous life. In moderating desire, we discover the source of inner calm, regardless of external circumstances. These virtues, praised by various Stoic philosophers, converge to create a life that incorporates Stoic ideals. They serve as guiding stars, leading us through life's storms with grace, wisdom, and lasting peace. By adhering to these virtues and allowing them to permeate our thoughts and actions, we maintain a calm and serene disposition, reflecting the Stoic commitment to inner harmony and moral living. In the mosaic of Stoicism, these virtues are the radiant colors that create an image of a life lived in harmony with the eternal truth of the universe. Lesson 5. Choose your response. The power of choice transcends centuries, leaving us with an invaluable lesson, the power of choice in our reactions. In Stoic philosophy, this lesson stands out as an unwavering pillar a guiding beacon that leads us through the turbulent seas of existence. Epictetus, with unshakable firmness, conveyed the truth that, while the reign of external events may be beyond our control, the helm of our reactions remains firmly in our hands. He declared this as the essence of Stoic wisdom. 
In the stoic sanctuary, where tranquility and equanimity reign, the focal point of control resides clearly within Stoic philosophy, a philosophy rooted in our mastery over life's diverse challenges. It is in this sacred space that Stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice and tranquility become guiding stars illuminating the path to inner peace. Epictetus, through his counsel, urges us to contemplate the nature of our judgments and reactions, especially in the face of difficulties. It is through this self-examination that we awaken to the profound truth that we possess a sacred gift, the ability to consciously shape our responses to the countless external events in life. The Stoic approach to right reactions to life's fluctuations is akin to a perfect stroke on the canvas of existence. It is the choice to align with Stoic virtues, to face life's challenges with the wisdom of philosophers, the courage of heroes, the justice of noble hearts, and the composure of those who tread the path of self-control. Imagine encountering a negative situation in your communication with others. They speak ill of you, and you feel anger. Instead of retaliating, you learn to control your reaction. You understand their positive aspects and remain calm, creating a more positive atmosphere in communication. Stoicism helps maintain composure and build better relationships with others. The Stoic, imbued with Epictetus' wisdom, is a fortress of inner peace, unshaken even in the face of the fiercest storms. Through conscious choice and alignment with Stoic virtues, we create a protective barrier, preserving our inner peace in the face of adversity. It is the Stoic clear call to navigate the rugged paths of life with grace and resilience, for in the crucible of conscious choice, we find the enduring forge of inner peace. Lesson 6. Practice Mindfulness Seneca, the venerable Stoic philosopher whose wisdom transcends time, illuminated an important lesson for those seeking tranquility and self-mastery amid the turbulence of life, the practice of mindfulness. In the Stoic lexicon, mindfulness is a compass that guides us to the shores of the present moment, offering refuge from the incessant waves of regret about the past and uncertainties about the future. Essentially, mindfulness is the art of living in the present immersing ourselves in the current moment with profound awareness. It is the antidote to the malady of rumination, the mind's incessant turmoil over past sorrows and anxieties about the future. Seneca's teachings in the Stoic tradition call us to honor the beauty and depth of the present, recognizing it as the only moment that holds true existence. The practice of mindfulness as described by Seneca, is not confined to extraordinary moments in life, but extends its embrace to the ordinary and the mundane. It encourages us to observe the tapestry of life with discerning eyes, from the extraordinary to the seemingly insignificant. In doing so, we free ourselves from the suffocating grip of regret and the claws of anxiety. This stoic mindfulness, a valuable tool for preserving inner calm and clarity, acts as a bridge to the precious present connecting us to the profound simplicity of now. It is an art that grants us the ability to fully engage in our current circumstances, savoring each breath and appreciating the beauty unfolding with every heartbeat. In the practice of mindfulness, we discover an eternal sanctuary where the soul finds peace, where inner tranquility is nurtured and self-mastery is enhanced amid the tumultuous currents of life. Lesson 7. Cultivate Resilience In the vast landscape of Stoic philosophy, the lessons of resilience resonate like a responsive symphony. Enter Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher. He spoke to teach us the profound art of facing difficulties with perseverance. For Epictetus, challenges are not a formidable enemy, but a tool to sculpt the masterpiece of our nature. Stoic philosophy, deeply rooted in the natural order of life, conveys the fundamental truth that challenges are the threads and fibers of existence. 
The Stoics embodied this wisdom, not viewing difficulties as obstacles or sources of suffering, but rather as opportunities, a forge to heat and refine their inner metal. Epictetus urges us not to despair in the storms of life, but to remain steadfast like an unshakable oak in the face of the tempest. The essence of this stoic perspective lies in the deep awareness that it is not the event itself, but our perceptions, reactions and choices in the face of adversity that have the power to afflict us. It is the lens through which we view life's challenges, shaping our inner tranquility. Cultivating stoic resilience is to tread the path of personal development and awareness, where adversity is not a calamity but a mentor. Stoic philosophy teaches us that in the forge of difficulties, we discover our true strength. By facing life's challenges with courage and unwavering perseverance, we emerge like steel that has been forged, with a nature strengthened by the trials we face. The Stoic perspective on difficulties aligns perfectly with the Stoic belief in each individual's power of choice. Epictetus, in his wisdom, urges us to confront challenges not with timidity, but with the courage of a warrior because it is through how we react to external events that we safeguard our inner peace and tranquility. It is the gift of resilience that allows Stoics to navigate the turbulent sea of life with a steady gaze, unshaken even in the face of the strongest storms. Lesson 8. Keep learning and growing. In the deep landscape of Stoic philosophy, where wisdom is woven from threads of patience and tranquility, we find a lesson that beckons us to embark on a lifelong journey of self-improvement. Epictetus, one of the quintessential figures of Stoic philosophy, stands out as a steadfast guide in this quest. He reveals that the path to inner peace and self-mastery is paved with the stones of personal development. The Stoic commitment to self-improvement is a recurring theme in philosophy, resonating empathetically with various Stoic philosophers. Epictetus carries the torch of this message with persuasive determination. He invites us to join the endless path of growth, emphasizing that this commitment is a treasure of knowledge that equips us to face life's challenges with skill and insight. We are not static beings, but vessels of unexplored potential, always capable of growth. The commitment to lifelong learning and development is an unwavering call. It is a reminder that wherever we are, there are horizons to explore and virtues to cultivate. The stoic pursuit of self-improvement harmonizes with the quest for wisdom and tranquility. It is a recognition that tranquility and self-mastery are not static attributes, but processes enriched by continuous learning. Epictetus encourages us to seek knowledge as we would seek a precious jewel, knowing that it is the compass that guides us through the labyrinth of existence. The stoic journey of self-improvement finds its rhythm in the flow of urban life. We are called not to perfection, but to progress, not to a static state, but to constant development. This stoic lesson echoes through the corridors of wisdom, whispering that there is no final destination, only an endless journey toward becoming a better version of ourselves. Embracing this lesson, we learn to face life's challenges with patience and strength. The Stoic spirit finds strength not in the absence of difficulties, but in the pursuit of growth, often driven by challenges. We discover that failures are not barriers, but steps, and each challenge is a teacher. The commitment to lifelong learning and development is a guiding light in the storm, a source of peace in the face of life's challenges. It affirms the Stoic principle that regardless of external circumstances, we are the masters of our inner world. The more we learn, the more we grow, and the better we become at facing the storms of life. In the echoes of Epictetus' teachings, we find a conclusion. As we stand at the crossroads of our personal journeys, it is with great joy and gratitude that we extend an invitation to celebrate the path of self-improvement. 
In the spirit of Stoic philosophy, we invite you to rejoice in the process of learning and to honor the steadfast efforts of development. This lesson affirms that with each step on this path, we draw closer to the heart of Stoic philosophy, a life marked by inner peace, self-mastery, and an unrelenting pursuit of knowledge. In a world filled with turmoil and uncertainty, Stoic philosophy offers a timeless and practical guide to maintaining tranquility and internal control. By embracing the eight lessons of Stoic philosophy, inspired by the wisdom of different Stoic philosophers, you will discover a profound serenity and inner calm that will help you navigate life's challenges. The enduring wisdom of Stoic philosophy reminds us that inner peace and self-mastery do not depend on external circumstances, but are cultivated internally through the practice of these invaluable lessons. If you have found even a hint of value in these eight lessons, gained some wisdom, or simply enjoyed our time together, we humbly ask you to consider subscribing to the channel and giving a big thumbs up to this video. Until our next uniquely magical encounter, keep the flame of curiosity burning and the spirit of stoicism alive. Goodbye, and we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.